Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, our hearts go out to all the people of Israel um, and the people of Palestine. Like we know, um, this is not, we hope that this is not really what you want, that, that war is not ever the answer. Yeah. And um, we would like to see this resolved peacefully between the two. Mm -hmm. um, but our support right now is with Israel. Um, and Israel has always been a proud supporter of Modi G and India. And we feel like that is where we need to, um, you know, send extra support to them. Right. Um, you know, they've done their part in, in trying to give Palestine some, you know, land and, mm -hmm. and trying to compromise and hopefully the rocket launching will stop and there will be some talking instead of, I mean, I don't, I don't, even Biden said it, um, you know, they have, Israel has the right to defend themselves when hundreds of rockets are being thrown at them. Yeah. And you just, you have to be able to turn around and defend yourself. Um, thank God they have amazing weaponry and the Iron Dome, mm -hmm. um, that they didn't lose many people, but I don't know what Palestine is thinking they're gaining from this, the Hamas is gaining from this, like, they're not going to give you Jerusalem, that is like the homeland for them, and... What you're doing is creating more conflict, like, it's not going to stop, it's hate with hate. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and, and we want it to get better, so hopefully people can put down their weapons and, and negotiate and, and then just be done, like, yeah. Let there be some peace in that area. Build, you know, your country or build your state and and work on making your people better. Don't do it off of hatred. Yeah. Um, it shouldn't be about religion and it and it definitely shouldn't be about hate. So uh, we're gonna listen to uh, a speech that uh, the Israel Prime Minister um, talked about India so passionately and Prime Minister Modi, so. Yeah. Prime Minister Modi, Narendra, thank you for your exceptional friendship and hospitality that you showed me, my wife, our delegation. I was deeply moved today in the celebration at the ceremony. Uh, it was um, an expression not only of the honor you showed me, but the honor you show the people of Israel and the state of Israel. You are a revolutionary leader in the best sense of the word revolution. You are revolutionizing India. You're catapulting this magnificent state into the future. And you have revolutionized the relationship between Israel and India. I'm the son of a historian. Our people have had thousands of years of history. India and Israel are two of the most ancient civilizations on earth. And yet, it is an amazing fact that until you visited Israel, no leader of India in 3,000 years of our own sovereign existence and our history has visited Israel. You are the first leader of a state, of an India state, to do this. Uh, so it was a groundbreaking visit. It excited the imaginations of uh, all Israelis, and of course of uh, the many Israelis of Indian descent, of origin, who came and were, how shall I say this? Uh, well, I thought I was in a rock concert. <laughs> but it was a historic event as well. Uh, we are ushering today a new era in our relations. We've had diplomatic relations for 25 years, but, um, but something different is happening now because of your leadership and because of our partnership. Uh, there are three things that bind our countries together. The first is that uh, we have an ancient past. The second is that we have a vibrant present. And the third is that we are 
seizing together a promising future. We are proud of our past, our rich histories, our people's contributions to human civilization in language and literature, in mathematics and medicine, in philosophy and faith. The greatest texts that human beings produced are in Sanskrit and in Hebrew. None greater and none more enduring. And we never forget this. More recently, you mentioned just a century ago, brave Indian soldiers played a vital role in the liberation of the state of Israel and the land of Israel. This led to our independence. And yesterday I was again deeply moved as we paid tribute to these brave Indian fighters and commanders who gave their lives in that historic fight. We honor their memory as you mark today Indian Army Day. We are proud of our present, of our resilient democracies. Our people are free to say what they want, do what they want, believe what they want. And these values and our diversity are not a source of our weakness, but the source of our strength. Evidence of this abounds in India, where you hear a symphony of dozen, dozens of languages and dialects, and where Jews, and you mentioned this yesterday, Prime Minister, you mentioned the fact that makes India stand out in the community of nations, because over 2,000 years, the Jews of India have never experienced anti-Semitism as our people experience in so many other lands. This is a tribute to your civilization, to your tolerance, to your humanity. Israelis and Indians are bound by the kinship of free peoples, but I believe that democracy cannot be taken for granted. Despite the doubts, despite the challenges, India and Israel are living proof, not only that democracy works, but they demonstrate something deeper, the intrinsic value of freedom, which I believe is the intrinsic value of life. Citizens thrive. Ultimately, it is the free citizens who thrive because they are free and when they are free. Finally, we are proud that we are seizing the future so we can make a better life for our peoples and for others around the world. Our commitment to do so is reflected in the manifold agreements that we signed today, in cyber and aviation and energy, even in cinema. My wife and I are very happy that we're going to Bollywood. <laughs> We'd like to see it firsthand. Uh, and so many other areas. Israel is a fountainhead of innovation. It's a global force of technology. India abounds with creativity, with ingenuity, with scientists, with mathematicians. And I think that when we join our respective talents together, we can achieve tremendous things for our people. We can actually achieve, you say we want more. Prime Minister Modi and I are the same. We want more for our people. We want it now. We want it yesterday. But one of the things that Israel brings to this world of innovation is that we achieve more with less. More crops with less water. More energy with less expenditure of, of money. More with less. We want more, a lot more, and we can do that even more productively by cooperating. When you and I walked uh, shoeless along the Mediterranean shore, we drank seawater that was purified before our eyes using technology that will save untold lives. India and Israel are working together to provide clean water, to increase crop yields, to keep our people safe from terrorism and other challenges to the future we both seek. You mentioned the areas, agriculture, where I presented to Prime Minister Modi uh, an idea of revolutionizing Indian agriculture as we're revolutionizing Israeli agriculture. Precision agriculture that goes down to the individual plant. Some plants need more water, some less. We can see it today with big data, with drones, with other instruments of technology to make farmers produce much more crops, more crops with less. We're talking about cooperation in science and technology 
in every field, and we're talking about cooperation in defense so that our people are always safe and always secure. Indians and Israelis know too well the pain of terrorist attacks. We remember the horrific savagery in Mumbai. We grit our teeth. We fight back. We never give in. My friend, last night, you again showed us your tremendous hospitality. And when you hosted Sarah and me at your home so graciously, it was brilliantly lit, illuminated by the national colors of India and Israel. And I thought at that moment about your honesty, your passion, your vision, your commitment. And it fills me with hope, hope that this new era of India-Israel relations will bring unprecedented benefits to India, to Israel, to all humanity. And finally, and this is perhaps the most important statement that I can make here, my friend Narendra, anytime you want to do a yoga class with me, it's a big stretch, but I'll be there. Test me. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, my friend. You can definitely see how much he respects not only India, but Prime Minister Modi in this speech. Yeah. Um, you know, these are the kind of people, this is the countries that you want to not only work together, like he talked about, mm -hmm. but support in times of need, like now. Um, you and know, work in the future. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, he talked about not only is India and Israel one of the oldest countries civilizations he said um you know and we know that and so many smart scientists and mathematicians have come out of both of these countries that yeah. it's wonderful that they're going to work together and i like how he said like they do a lot of good with less money and less resources and i have mm -hmm. found like with the mars mission a lot of the rockets they india builds for space are not as expensive as the U.S., and yet it's they're just as effective. Yeah, it's amazing how um, they find other materials or just a, a different way to do it that saves a lot of cost and, and works just as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's nice to see. And like we said, these are the times you need to support the countries that support your country. Mm -hmm. Israel has always supported India. Um, and we hope Prime Minister Modi is, is reaching out um, to the Prime Minister of Israel to, to give him his support now. This mm -hmm. is the time that they need it. You know, we don't want to see anybody killed. We have always said on this channel that peace is the answer. Um, you know, but like, like Gandhi said, um, an eye for an eye makes people blind, you know, we, we want the fighting to stop and hopefully some kind of negotiation. There's got to be some kind of middle ground. And we know that, that Israel has given up um, Gaza to the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. um, I, they're not going to give you Jerusalem. I, I, as a Christian, I know that that's just not going to happen. Um, it, but it shouldn't really necessarily be about religion. But this is, they've gone through so much, you know. Right, like, um, in class I'm reading about the Holocaust, and Jews in that play a very important role in that, and it's sad because Daddy said that they didn't teach them that things in India, and I can't even imagine what they teach in Pakistan or these other countries. And it's sad to think that history is not being recognized as the truth is. Yeah. And I think that's not the only thing, but yeah, I was surprised that Daddy said he had never heard um, the stories behind the Holocaust, which was a huge, huge thing, historical piece of information. Yeah. And I and I think if everybody knows more, I think if the history is told as truthfully as can be, um, everybody needs to know. Not only right. what the Jews have gone through, but what the Hindus have gone through. I feel like a lot of different communities have had these struggles, but the Holocaust was the highest and above and beyond. 
um, what any community has gone through. And I think the, the fact that they have a place that they can call their own and, and they have this technology, thank God, to kind of keep some of the, the terrorist acts that are going on right now away at bay, you know, but they're not going to sit idly back and let it happen. Like, right. you know, in, in World War II, they had, they didn't really have a choice. They didn't have anything. Now they have the technology above and beyond most countries. And now the friendships that can help them. Right. So. They have a lot of the Western countries, um, as well as India, to support them if something yeah. does. And we don't want to see World War Three. please. Like, COVID has been enough for the world right now. Yeah. We don't need any more deaths uh, among us. But people from Palestine have to think, like, what are you gaining from this other than you're losing a lot of people to it? Because... Right. Israel is not going to let this go. They're not going to stand back and let you throw 500 missiles at their door. And, and they shouldn't. Um, you need to kind of come to a compromise and then move on and do good for your community, for your people of Palestine. Like, that's all we want here at this channel. Like, mm -hmm. we want all these countries, you know, we've always said this, we're not against any religion but your religion needs to stay in your home. It's a perfect personal preference. It's how, what you believe. Your country should come first. And and your religion needs to stay in your home. And you sh if you don't love the country you live in, then you need to find a country that you do love to go to, that you feel like you can support fully, and they will support you. You know, if you're living in India and you hate India because you feel like they don't treat you right and you think Pakistan or, you know, Saudi Arabia or China would be better, then you need to pack your bags and move. Like, don't live in a country where you are not proud to be an Indian citizen or you're not proud to be, like, here, a U.S. citizen anywhere. If you don't love it, then you need to go find a country that you love because... Every rule, everything can't be just about you. This uh, whole community and the laws and the rules and everything is kind of based on the majority. And you want to be in a place where you feel like you can contribute to that country, stand up and fight for it in, in time of need, and and support it like it you feel like it's supporting you. And, and if that's not the case, then, yeah, you should one that does yeah but we are supporting israel and we hope and pray that things calm down and and negotiations in a positive light come through yeah um but um hopefully we'll get to do some more stuff with um israel and india because they look like they are collaborating a lot um i did see the water thing that was pretty cool where they yeah. turn the seawater um, into drinking water. And um, some of his ideas about the farming would hopefully help Indian farmers too. Mm -hmm. So hopefully there's a lot of good collaborations and we'll try to find some videos on that. But support Prime Minister Modi, support India, and, and we feel like your support should be and your love should be um, for Israel as well. And like we said, hopefully peaceful actions will come soon. Yeah. So... And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.